Another major story we're following, NBA players are sitting out tonight's three playoff games, an extraordinary move to protest the police shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Three people were shot, two fatally, during overnight protests. And tonight, a 17-year-old from out of town is being held on suspicion of first-degree intentional homicide. CBS's Mola Lange reports tonight from Kenosha. <laughs> The shootings erupted just before midnight. The shooter alleged to be 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse. It allegedly began when he shot one person in the head at this boarded up business, then fired on protesters in the middle of the street as they tried to subdue him. Hey, he just shot them. The gunman is then seen walking past multiple law enforcement vehicles with his hands raised, assault rifle in tow, leaving the scene without being stopped. Today, Rittenhouse was taken into custody in his hometown of Antioch, Illinois, just 15 miles from Kenosha, and is being held on first-degree intentional homicide charges. Two people are dead. This is not a police action. This is not the action, I believe, of those who set out to do protests. Earlier in the day, the suspected shooter says he was there to guard the community. So you guys are full on ready to defend the property? Yes, we are. Wednesday evening, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call released the first details into his department's investigation into the Jacob Blake shooting. Call said three officers were involved in the incident, but only one, Rustin Shesky, fired all seven shots. Call added that Blake admitted to officers that he had a knife and that one was ultimately recovered on the floorboard of the SUV near where Blake was shot. Tonight, all three NBA playoff games are on hold after the Milwaukee Bucks boycotted their game just before tip-off. This, after Los Angeles Clippers head coach Doc Rivers was noticeably frustrated last night. We've been hung, we've been shot, and all you do is keep hearing about fear. It's, it's amazing to me why we keep loving this country and this country does not love us back. Well, now there's word that baseball's Milwaukee Brewers are canceling their game tonight. Meanwhile, the Kenosha County Sheriff said today that he welcomes peaceful protesters, but warned that law enforcement will, quote, be more assertive with anyone breaking the law tonight, including staying out past curfew, which has been bumped up an hour to 7 p.m. The mayor of Kenosha also said today that armed militias are not welcome, Nora. All right, Mola Lange, thank you.